Hi guys, here's a quick video to show you how to run your own financial statements. So a lot of times I get emails from clients and or their CPAs or their tax professionals asking me for access to send them um, a set of financial statements for a certain period in time. And oftentimes what happens is either it's either because the accountant doesn't have the access to the QuickBooks file or they do and they don't know how to use it. Um, so the first step thing I would say is that if you have not already used both of your users for your QuickBooks online file, then it is definitely okay if you feel comfortable to give your accountant or tax professional or CPA access to your file. And so you can do that by clicking on the gear icon in the top right corner, go over to manage users, click on accounting firms, and here you will click the invite button and send them an invitation to have access to your file if you want them to have access. If you don't want them to have access and you'd rather send the financial statements to them yourselves instead of waiting for your bookkeeper to send them to them because they may be busy working on other clients or they may be out of the office at that point in time and unavailable to send them. Um, and sometimes these requests are time sensitive. So what you can do is when you're in your account, you can go over to the far left, click on reports, and this will give you access to all of the reports that are, you have access to within your QuickBooks file. Now be mindful that depending on what version you have, you may or may not have as many reports as you see that I have listed here. This is the plus edition, so I have more the most of reports that you can have. Um, but if you have base, uh, if you have simple start or essentials, you may not see some of these reports listed in your file. But nonetheless, to generate a, a report, you can click on any of the pre-selected reports and filter them to your liking and then save them to become a customized report. Or you can just use one of the reports that are already here that are also pre-filtered for you to send out. So you can simply click on a report. It will pre-populate with the information from um, based on the filter that was already preset. But if you want to filter it in any additional way, you can um, using the pre drop down pre-selected um, filters or you can customize the date range that you want to use. So I'm going to select last quarter and then when you're after you select the date or enter in the date range, hit run report and it will refresh the report. If you want a cash basis report, then be sure to click on the cash button and run the report to get cash basis numbers. But if you're in a accrual business and you follow accrual method, then you click on accrual and hit refresh to make sure that you have the right information available. If this is a report you want to run often, then you can actually save the customized report that you've already filtered so that next time you need to run it, it will show up. Um, in your customized reports and so you just need to name it I'm gonna name it mine and then I'm gonna save it and so now when I go to reports and I click on custom reports my report that I just ran is here and all I have to do is click it and if I need to change the date I can change the date and then resave it for the next go round um, but once you have the report open and, and it's showing you the information that you need then you can feel free to either email it directly to someone or yourself, print it out if you want to actually have a physical hard copy, or you can download it as an Excel or a PDF file and save it in a shared drive and send it through that option. So that's how you can run reports. You can run any report that you possibly can think of, um, balance sheet, profit and loss, accounts receivable aging, accounts payables aging, report, sales by customers, sales by products, um, expenses by vendor, transactions by vendor, um, employee information, um, as well as payroll reports. So I hope this video helps. Um, and if you have any questions, feel free to give us a shout.